Hi, I'm Istvan, the founder and CEO of Shaper 3D. Our product has come a long way since we launched it based on Siemens Parasolid in 2018. Today, we are announcing one of our biggest improvements yet, that history-based parametric modeling is coming to Shaper. You told us that to fully harness the power of Shaper for complex manufacturing workflows, you need parametric modeling. We believe that parametric modeling is extremely powerful, but there is a lot of room for improvement in the user experience. You have all felt the pain of fixing broken references or trying to understand one of your old models feature tree or waiting for minutes for an update. These are just some of the issues we are addressing in Shaper because creating a great user experience is what we thrive on. We are releasing history-based parametric modeling later this year. As a first step, we are launching a refreshed user interface over the coming weeks. We wanted to make sure that the user interface remains easy to use but provides the best possible user experience for history-based modeling. Our goal with the refresh was to keep everything you love in Shaper and get ready for all the great things that we are adding to Shaper in the next few years. Shortly after the UI refresh, we will be making history-based parametric modeling available for public beta access during the summer. Until the public release later this year, we will be iterating on this feature based on your feedback. Next, Seb and Peter will dive into the details of history-based parametric modeling and the new user interface in Shaper 3D.